All right, we're back at it. Uh, doing a quick little job, doing a, uh, pretty much being a tow truck today. We got a four that's broken down uh, on someone's property, but uh, I guess there's some like fuel issues or something like that going on. So I'm gonna help someone out, get that thing towed up and out of there. And perfectly good too, cause uh, it doesn't live too far from me, but I gotta go down the mountain to pick it up. But at least when I drop it off, I don't have to drive too far. But uh, I got the dime seal ready to go. Uh, have this winch I've had in my Cherokee for a while. It just has a little receiver on there. And uh, kind of jankified it. I've always had this little quick adapter for it. And uh, just tossed in the battery right there. It's uh, It's got those Bluetooth hold downs. So, and uh, got the truck started up over there. I'm gonna get her warmed up and uh, get this guy connected and head down the mountain and go pick up that Ford. So, yeah. off a lot of people were telling me with this trailer oh that that overswing on the rear axle because it's 12 feet or 10 feet or so behind the rear axle is uh, on the dovetail part hangs over unless you're making a u-turn you really are not gonna feel or see that tail swing way out of that lane I mean unless you're making u-turns anywhere everywhere I don't really see an issue with that um and this 30 foot deck has been a lifesaver it's like it's the perfect in between yeah sometimes you wish you got a longer deck but at the same time it saved eight nine hundred pounds in weight uh from getting a 32 footer or a 34 footer and then i don't know you guys you guys know what you want to use uh the trail for but i could fit two pieces of machinery on it or one big piece of machinery that's that is my use for this trailer i'm not doing pop shotting i'm not you know, loading the long cargo or a container. I mean, you put a 20 footer, but not a 40 footer. I don't think the, uh, you're legally allowed to do that with the overhang. There's a certain percentage. That's a whole, get to a whole nother thing. But overall, this trailer has fit what I've needed and is just been awesome as heck. The brakes finally broke in. Now they're working amazing. Um, that's pretty much been the bulk of it. I definitely, uh, I'm happy with this trailer. It was a heck of an investment, but it's it's been worth every penny. I absolutely love the heck out of this thing. I can't wait to be able to buy another one, just to have another one. Uh, so we're trying to check and see where we go from there. But today, we're just doing a little tow run. Uh, we'll see how it works. We'll see how this does. Uh, I threw my little 500 pound winch on there because that's what I had at the moment. I bought a that Harbor Freight Apex 12,000 pound winch. I'm gonna put that on this trailer. That's gonna be this trailer specific winch. I just never really got around to actually mounting it on there because I wanna get a box up top and do a few things like that. So we'll see when we get there. But we're, we're going, we're on our way down the mountain right now. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. We'll see what we have to do and what it entails. All right, so I got here and these are some uh, huge, huge, huge houses over here. Holy dang, high life. So uh, some of the issues about having a new truck is through this gate, these dang bushes, I don't wanna scratch my truck. So I wanna ratchet them up and out of the way. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if we got one out here. I think I might fit through that. I do a little quick once over on this thing. And there's lumber on top of it. I 
too sure about that. See if we can get this thing out of here. I don't know about that lumber though. That's going with it or staying with it or or what? A lot of stuff in the back too. She's locked. All right. I'm just gonna get back here and get set up. Make sure I don't run over any rocks. All right, so I'm just gonna butt in on this little clip here. So I probably honestly tried to get in this gate two or three times and I was worried about the gravel that they had down was very loose and didn't have much resistance to it. So my truck would just sink in. And on the flip side of it, I'm happy I didn't try too hard because it was a pain to get back out of this, which you will be seeing here shortly. And the next thing was, if my trailer wasn't able to get all the way around that bush or the fence, and I had that weight pushing me down that hill, I wouldn't have been able to back up even pull the drive because the truck would just sink down. And uh, I felt that every single time I hit the brakes, the truck would just sink right into the ground with that gravel. So, as you'll keep on seeing with the video here, what we did to get the truck out of there and the cross out to go. So, uh, back to the video. So I couldn't fit down in there, disconnecting the trailer. I'm gonna tow the truck up with uh, my girl and then get it up top here and then we'll uh, tow it up onto the trailer. It's a little bit more involved than I thought. And uh, we'll see how this goes here. See, we're on uh, wet grass over here. So uh, we'll see how this goes here. Let's go and drive, take off that, get some tension. I gotta get it up that hill over there. And there's a big ass rock over here somewhere. There it is right there. Yeah, I know it's all tall grass. Let's see if I make it up this hill. Gotta get a run at it. Yeah, this is a uh, steep son of a right here. All right, so I'm just gonna hook up the trailer, put this back into a drive. I'm gonna hook the trailer back up and then use the winch to pull them up that hill up onto the trailer uh, before I uh, just completely destroy their little driveway right there, which I already did actually. So we'll do that. And uh, definitely becoming a little bit more of a task than I thought.
pivot forward. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, is that a bush? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there it is. She is all chained down, ready to go, all four corners on the frame. The best area I can find to latch her down to. And uh sure I got enough tongue weight. But that was a chore and a half. I was sweating it's only 55 degrees outside. I'm sweating my butt off. Man. Yeah. Quick little brake check. Truck is still there. We're good. And, uh, we a nice little U-turn spot for me over here. Can't complain. Look at this. Huge. Look at that. Not too bad. Alright. It's, uh, oh. Locking up. Yeah. Tear the brakes over there, bud. Set those down to two. Engine's over here somewhere. These freaking cars falling so damn close behind me for whatever dang reason. Next up right here. Man, like I was meant to be. Oh, yeah. Love it. I'm never gonna get rid of it. Right, it's gonna keep on it's gonna stay in boxes. Yep. Well that is it. The truck is dropped off. That was a ton more work than I expected. We just about two hours of work made a few extra bucks he's happy might have a uh, future work with him because of what i do and uh, i mean making a few extra bucks and having a good secondary business opportunity there's nothing wrong with that that's always a plus but i am done i'm gonna go get some food before i head back home and uh call that a day thank you guys for watching if you like to subscribe like the video uh drop your comments down below of what you think you would have done different because that was a little bit, a bit of a pain. So I connected and did, I disconnected twice uh, to get that truck up and out of there. Um, I wish I put that 12,000 pound winch on there, but uh, I may do for the most part. But again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Take care.